This is a Let's Talk Church Safety and Security Microsode with your host, Paul Buckner. Hey, Shoe Dogs. So I wanted to talk about something I was thinking about recently. I think this is something we're going to see more and more in the future of security. And it's something to think about. It, it's partially anecdotal. I mentioned this at one time a while back, but it's something to think about. Drone technology is becoming more and more prevalent in our culture, and it's becoming more and more useful in our culture. And I actually think we're gonna see a lot of anti-theft drone use, i.e. Um, a, per a perimeter alarm gets tripped, and when it gets tripped, there's, a, um, there's an alert that goes out and a drone is actually dispatched there. I think within the next 20 years, should the Lord tarry, we're going to see drones that automatically deploy to an area and the, the camera systems will turn and, and coordinate on the movement. I think you're gonna see a lot of that. Um, cameras are already using facial recognition. Um, it's even fairly standard camera systems are using facial recognition. And so if it's somebody that's not, um, that's not an employee uh, in an environment, it will uh, trigger an alert or sound an alarm. That technology is moving really far forward. And so one thing being another, I think you're gonna see more and more of that. But a drone that will literally go out and fly and orbit around and give you basically, uh, essentially the equivalent of a 3D model of somebody where you can see from all angles. You can see that person from all angles. I think that's gonna be something that we're gonna see more and more of in the in coming years. And I've said this before, but I really, I really think that you're gonna see more and more of this where uh, churches are actually gonna use drones on campus to do routine patrols out to perimeter so if you need to go out to an environment that you would normally walk out to, drive out to in a vehicle, um, or a, you know, jump in a, some type of a golf cart or something, go out to, we can actually zip a drone out to it. They're going to become a, I'm not saying that they're going to be everywhere, but they're going to become pretty standard, I think, in our culture for things like that. And, uh, uh, you'll probably see them systems where you're walking by a perimeter of a of a fairly advanced, fairly high-end secure facility, and it's eventually going to come all the way down to pretty mundane stuff. But it literally will a drone will and it will be paralleling you as you're walking along. And uh, I think we we may literally see a day where drones of that nature become stable enough and autonomous enough that they become like a guard dog. I think that day is coming fairly rapidly. Just just kind of an anecdote. There's no spiritual component to this or anything like this, but I literally think that we're going to see a day where it, it's not going to stop burglaries. You're always going to have people that would do a shoot down on a drone or people that will go in anyway and it's going to be a smash and grab and they're going to wear a mask and they don't care. But I cannot tell you how many times because of good um, because of good quality cameras where people have upgraded to HD or 4 k cameras. I'm seeing 4K uh, security camera footage now from time to time. As a, as a civilian chaplain and an IT guy, I've been brought in several times to help departments to be able to get footage off of security cameras. And a lot of my officers are doing it on their own now, but the early on they were like, hey, come give us a hand with it. And so I would, I would be on a ride along or something, or they would call me and say, hey, come out and give us a hand. And I am seeing people caught in situations where they were they were caught because they were wearing a particular pair of sneakers or a specific hoodie and the quality of the footage was high enough that, that people recognized the perp and they were able to get caught. So I guess I'm gonna swing this around to the cost of cameras are coming down. And I know if, uh, at my last church, it wasn't until after I left that they got cameras. And uh, cameras really are a good forensic tool to go back, but they're not gonna prevent a crime. But I think they can, I said that very poorly. They can prevent a crime because people look up and go, nope, uh, that could happen. Honey Bunch is a nope. I shared that with one of my cop buddies recently and he says it all the time now. And we were having a conversation and I was like, Honey Bunch is a nope. Adding to that, you can upgrade your cameras much less expensively than it used to be. 
and get HD or even 4K cameras. So that is coming very rapidly. If you have existing cameras, it's something to think about. And you can do so in, in I've literally seen places that they're like, look, this, this camera here, we're not super concerned about it because it's going to get a long range picture. And so it, you're going to see the, the pixelated figure walk across it, but at the doors, at the nursery, facing towards the bathrooms to see if somebody takes a child into a bathroom, whatever that looks like, that's where we want the really good footage. So it's just something to think about. I think not only is drone technology becoming more uh, commonplace and cheaper, which is what happens with all technology, is coming down in price. In the but the stability is going up, and the autonomous nature. I mean, we've got follow follow technologies and facial recognition technologies, and I've literally seen drones that can go through um, inside of that. I mean, it, it's your church environment. You could literally have them track somebody. Not saying that's what we want to do. I'm just saying that technology is coming, and it's something to think about going to the cameras and uh, kind of got off the rails there just a moment, but going back to upgrading your cameras, if you've got them, it's, it's coming down in price rapidly and it can literally mean the difference between losing material to a, um, to a theft and actually being able to recover it and see the perpetrator brought to justice. That's totally a thing. And then bringing that around, um, you, I think you're gonna see a day rapidly where you'll have drones that fly up and dock themselves very commonplace and charge. And then when there's a significant movement in an area, they shoot out there. And uh, when they shoot out there into position, the drone may even have a recorded message that says something. I was uh, at a secure building the other day and one of the cameras clicked on and said, you know, it's like, you have activated our security system. You are being recorded. You have activated our security system. Something like that. That technology is coming and it can serve as a deterrent. Absolutely. So, God bless. If you enjoyed this microsode, check out the video and audio versions of the Let's Talk Church Safety and Security podcast.